We've been here for seven years and we got started because we wanted to make just wine for the local community and we've got 885 vines and we make a total of 21 different wines. Not a complicated process, just making a product that people enjoy. That's probably one of the number one questions uh, or question that's asked of us. Well, how long, you, how long have you been here? Seven years. And people say, well, how did you learn how to make wine? A lot of it came from our friends in Germany. We'd always go and see the Wagners. We'd always bring wine back. Then when 9-11 happened and you couldn't have fluid on your carry-on anymore, we couldn't bring back the amount of wine that we used to bring back. So Todd was off in Wash on his way back from a trip to Washington State and he was reading a wine spectator and he called from the airport and he's like, I have this great idea. Why don't we start our own vineyard and make our own wine? And a lot of it, our own research, a little trial and error. Yeah, initially we were going to do it just to make wine for ourselves and we were talking to our attorney and he's like, you know, this is, this is more than a hobby. You can make a business of it. You should make a business. So that, that's how we got to the business piece of it. But winemaking, some people may say it's difficult, but it's, once you get the basics down, it's not that difficult to do. Key, the key to winemaking is to start with clean products. We use a lot of stainless steel and that helps us. We've never ruined a batch of wine because our equipment has, hadn't been clean enough. A lot of sterilization that's involved. In Europe, in uh, warmer countries, they get, they don't have to add yeast, they get a natural yeast start just on the, the sugar that's in the grape and the naturally occurring yeast. So it's a, a spontaneous fermentation start. Wine takes time to make, and if you rush it, funny things can happen. And what that has led to right now, today, is our wine is fermenting in the barn. And get it, we're in the process of racking. Racking means moving from a large fermentation vessel to a stainless steel or a flex tank. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of help comes from our customers. They want to come and do something and contribute to uh, the winemaking experience. So some we have come and pick and then if they're still interested, we may have them come back later to do something else, maybe filtering, or there was one couple that came, they had helped us with bottling three times this past summer. Great help. Roger and Lori. And what's very important for everybody to know is all of our grape wines we make from the grapes that we grow. Hi, I'm Larry. I, I work for Todd out of the base. This is my second year helping out. Um, basically, I've been staying up here and pressing. I haven't gone down and, and done any picking yet, but I plan on doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. So. Hi, I'm Tom. I work with Todd and Trina out at the, uh, the base. Uh, this is my first year out here, and I've been working on the, uh, the, the pressing firm. We're off the beaten path, and that's another thing when we think about like our business plan that keeps us from doing something different, that people will, will drive out of the way to come here specifically because they either like the relationship, they like the experience, they like our wine. You, it keeps you grounded where you're at. You want them to see what you see. So that's, you know, we, we just love that part of it. My parents couldn't do it without them, and certainly Trina. It's a four-person operation. Something else that's, that's fun is watching the expression on people's faces when they taste some of your wine and they, and they like it. 
We don't want to get any bigger. 3,500 gallons for us producing that a year, along with the jam my mother makes and the syrup my parents make. We've got our hands full. We enjoy it. But if we were to get larger, maybe it wouldn't be as much fun anymore. For the, yeah, for the next seven years, we'll be doing this. And when we're done our full-time job, we will look at this differently. It, it's, we really enjoy making wine and making people happy.